Welcome to another Thousand Eyes video presented by myself, Kelvin Charles. In this video we're going to take a look at how to scale Thousand Eyes and we're also going to have a brief look at the licensing model to see how that works. For those that have been following along with this video series so far, you will have noticed that most of it has been focused on the presentation element discussing what Thousand Eyes is and going through the features and capabilities of Thousand Eyes. This is the last video presentation before we actually jump into Thousand Eyes itself and we start running through first and what some of the features and capabilities are that we've been speaking about and that will help put some of this in more context for you so i do look forward to presenting those uh, labs as well so do stay tuned and subscribe and hit that notifications bell if you want to be notified of the upcoming videos that i am putting out so when we look at scaling we can scale the thousand eyes agents um, essentially if um, you know in, a, in an environment where we may need to so with the agents themselves you can execute an unlimited amount of tests um, from the enterprise agent that is in, in a given time frame the test capacity of the enterprise agent is not bounded by the CPU and the memory of the actual agent so long as the deployment guidelines for the specific enterprise agent are followed. Clustering is also available where a single enterprise agent exceeds its capabilities. So when we look at clustering, we can cluster two or more agents to increase the aggregate test capacity. But it's important to realize that these tests are not dynamically low balanced across the cluster members. If an agent is removed from the cluster, the remaining tests are distributed amongst the remaining members. So if you have, say for instance, four um, agents in a cluster and you remove one of them, the tests are then uh, distributed amongst the remaining members in that cluster. So when we look at the licensing model for Thousand Eyes, Agents themselves are not licensed by the instance, so you can have as many instances as you require. Customers, however, are charged by the test unit consumption only. And each executed test consumes what we call units. These units are pre-purchased and expressed as a monthly allowance. So depending on um, you know the discussions you've had with the account teams will um, you know ultimately determine the units that you have or require and these can be you know you can add to these units uh, wherever required the number of units are consumed and calculated based on the compute resources used for a particular test so cloud agents will consume more units than enterprise agents and this is um, simply because when you're using the cloud agents, you're using, um, you know, Thousand Eyes agents, essentially. So you're using their uh, resources, hence why it costs uh, more. However, when we look at the enterprise agents, because you are consuming your own resources, essentially, the cost or the unit usage will be essentially lower. Endpoint agents incur a monthly charge per concurrent instance and this really gives the added flexibility for customers to be able to move agents to other endpoints as required. 